Hi developers, welcome back to Code Step by Step. My name is Anil and I hope you know that Laravel 9 has been released in the market. And if you are not aware with that, then that's okay. There is no issue. Now you are aware with that. And now in this video, we will discuss all new feature of the Laravel 9. Uh, but keep uh, one point in mind. In this video, we will discuss the uh, features. We are not going to implement them with the code. I will tell you where we can use these features, how we can use them, everything. But the for code implementation, we will make a separate video for each topic. If I am going to start the code implementation in this video, it may take two to three hours or maybe more time for uh, understanding the uh, code of all features, right? So we will just uh, take a theory detail in this part and uh, I will show you the screenshot and code also, that's okay. But actual code implement for actual code implementation, we will create a separate videos for the every topic for each topic. So now let's start with some important points. So you need at least PHP 8 if you want to use Laravel 9. So if you are using the previous version, then you have to update your uh, PHP. After that, uh, previously Laravel actually released the uh, every new version after six months. You can see that. Uh, Laravel 6, 7 and 8. They are released after 6 months but uh, now they are actually release, planning to release the new version after 1 year. I think that is also good. And with that way they can add the more new feature with the each and every version. And uh, one more thing, Laravel 9 actually support almost all feature of the Laravel 8. They are not, uh, there is no breaking change, there is a no depreciation and not at all. You can use all of the feature of Laravel 8 inside the Laravel 9 also, right? And uh, some beginners or fresher guys are just thinking that, okay, now Laravel 9 is released, so maybe we have to learn it from the scratch. This is completely different from the Laravel 8, not, not actually the code structure, architecture, file system and uh, syntax, everything is same. They are just add some new features. So you don't need to worry about that. If you are aware with the Laravel 8, then it will take uh, maximum two to three days to grab the new features of Laravel 9 and now you will be the up to date, right? So don't worry about that. So now let's start with the features. So first feature is that they uh, pre in previous version Laravel actually used the shift mailer, but they find that shift mailer is not actually updating since uh, lots of time. That's why they update uh, its shift mailer with the symphony mailer feature. So keep in mind this is the under the hood updation. That means you don't need to worry about that. So you have to use your uh, same mailer functions whenever you you want to send any mail or you want to write the code for sending mail you have to use the same function same classes and all there is a no change at all but they actually made a change uh, internally right so uh, uh, previously they are using a shift mailer and uh, they are using the wrapper laravel wrapper or, uh, on that and now they are using symphony mailer and they are using the wrapper on uh, laravel wrapper on that and functions are still same there is a one more update. This is also a very similar update. Previously, Laravel uh, Laravel 8 and previous versions actually uh, used the uh, fly system uh, 1x, right? And now they update it with the Laravel 3x. And this is also the under the hood. So the you can say that actual functions that developers use are still same. There is a no change at all. And this is basically used for uh, storage. Uh, you can see that system. So when you want to upload any file on the cloud or uh, especially on the AWS or you want to update the file, delete the file, that time uh, we use actually fly system and I will make a separate video on that how it's actually work. But don't worry, there is a nothing to change on the, you can see that on the developer side. They just made the changes under the hood. After that, yes, this change is actually directly impact on the developers. They uh, made a change with the accessor and mutators. Pre previously, they have the different functions for accessor and different function for mutator. But now you can use the both properties in a same function. So you can ask that uh, what they actually do. What is the, uh, you can say the role of accessor and mutator. See, they are used whenever we are uh, storing the data or retrieving the data with the database and we want to just uh, we need some 
minute changes with that that thing let's say we are just getting data and we want to change the capitalization or we want to add small strings that time we use these accesses and, and mutators and previously they have the in laravel 8 till they have the different different functions but now you can use the different different functions as well as you can use the same uh, one function for uh, both these features okay the next thing is controller uh, route group Previously, uh, let's say in uh, one class or in one controller, we have, uh, let's say, 20 functions and they are using inside the uh, route. So, we have to create the 20 different route and every time we have to define the class also or with the controller name also. But now you don't need to do that. You can apply only your uh, uh, controller name once with the group and inside it, you can directly put your function name, right? Even you can use the previous routing also that will also work fine but this is the I think better way and this feature definitely deserve a video and I will definitely make a video on that. Alright so the next thing okay this slide is same actually so the next thing is used for a database which is full text indexed and where clauses. So what they do that they add some new features with the MySQL or post MySQL also. also. So whenever you are actually generating column, then now you can generate the column with the full text also. You can see that uh, before that you don't have uh, option for the full text. And whenever you are putting the where condition, then now you can also use the where full text or where full text. You can use both of these functions, right? Okay, so uh, previously uh, Laravel is basically using the two uh, search service which is the algolia and uh, mail search but now uh, you find if you find that your application is small or lightweight that time you can use the scout db for the search engine i can show you where they actually used so this is an example whenever we are searching in the official website of laravel you can see that they are actually using the algolia you can also use algolia but let's say you find that your application is small that time you can just uh, use the scout tb package also after that uh, there is a new feature which is a uh, inline blade template uh, let's say this is actually i am also facing that issue whenever i just uh, i need to create a one or two line of html and uh, i just need to create a different blade file for that it will really painful now you don't need to do that let's say your output is really small then and you uh, you are in the controller then you can just use uh, inline blade template right and it will work perfectly fine with the valid valid html and uh, one more thing in laravel 8 they uh, just add the feature in laravel 8 they add the feature for the slot uh, in that whenever we want to add any properties like we want to add the name that time we have to uh, just define the name property and we have to add the title but now let's say you want to add a name to the slot then you can simply use colon and then title great so now one more change for uh, uh, blade directories so previously if let's say you want to check that uh, we have a checkbox and uh, on the base of value we want to check or uncheck it then we have to write the, some different type of code and, and sometimes this is uh, uh, you can say that uh, really painful to check that because we have to use the question mark conditions ternary operators and all but now this is really simple you can use the checked uh, directives and you can pass the value inside it and it will automatically check and uncheck with the same thing if you have the select or uh, drop down list then uh, you can use the at the rate select directively and it will select that specific option okay so as you know with the laravel we basically uh, they they recommend that we have to use telwind uh, ui but let's say you want to use the bootstrap 5 for the pagination that time you can also do that and you just need to go to the paginator uh, class and here you can just inside the boot function just you have to provide the use uh, bootstrap 5 and you can use the bootstrap 5 pagination for that all right so they also improve uh, in the ignition exception page so uh, let's say we are just writing some code we got the error and we want to check the browser that time we get a screen or you can say that the error page that uh, this is also improved and now they are saying that uh, uh, 
from here you can just get to know uh, that you can easily guess that what could be the error and how we can fix this right so this is also an improvement so yes one more thing this is also improvement this is also not a new feature so let's say with the command line you want to check the route list so previously this feature is also available but now they what they provide that they provide the different route with the different color and the controller name also right so you can check it with your command line with the route colon list and it will provide the list of your all routes with the different different color and more details as compared to the previous version okay so they also uh, Im they also just uh, add a new feature which is uh, implicit route binding with the enum what actually they do so let's say we have a route and uh, uh, here we want to just choose some specific value like in the category could be only fruit or enum then what we can do here we have to use resux or we have to just do it manually uh, with the lots of code logic and all but now they made it simple with the enum so with the enum they we can decide the specific case so in category we can have only two cases one is fruit second one is people so let's say uh, we are uh, anyone just send that uh, in the category uh, animals or planets or cities then that time it will give the error because it will support only uh, two cases fruits and people right so with that way we can also use the enum with the routing and i think this is a really good feature and this feature is also deserve a video i will i am excited to make uh, excited to make a video on that topic okay so they also uh, you can say that uh, improve that uh, test command test um, yes php artisan test command because previously so let's say we want to check that how many uh, files have the test cases uh, that time we can simply put here php artisan test and it will give the uh, list of the file there we write the test cases but they cannot tell that uh, how much file is covered so let's say in a one file we have 20 function and we write the test cases for uh, 15 files and uh, five fun uh, 15 functions and five functions are still left now they can identify it with the uh, hyphen hyphen uh, coverage and now it will tell that in which file uh, how many test cases are written so here you can see that in route service provider 93.3 uh, percent of code is covered in the uh, event service this is 100 percent is covered broadcast service zero there is a no test case is written so with that way we can identify that which file have how much coverage for test cases all right so last but not least they provided the two helper also uh, one is a string second one is two routes so string helper will, will basically uh, you can say that it's work like uh, uh, string chaining or chaining function chaining so let's say we want to just append these two uh, characters or two words uh, taylor otwell that time we can just say that string Tail, uh, tailor and append with the outwell and it will give the output that one so let's say we want to define a snake bar case so we can use str snake bar function and we are if we are providing a laravel framework then the output will be like this and uh, to route so for the redirecting to route we can use to return to route and here we can provide the route as well as if you want to some pass data then we can pass this data also so that's all for uh, this part and in upcoming video we will explain these all features with the code implementation thank you so much for watching this video and please don't forget to subscribe my channel